Hello everyone. Today my topic for discussion is disaster in India, a case study. Here I am going to discuss what are the types of disaster that India is facing. Yes, India is vulnerable to disasters. Uh, to say that India experiences all kinds of disaster, whether it is natural, earthquake, cyclones, uh, landslide, avalanche, uh, floods, uh, mm, whatever might be from the natural side. And also uh, India experiences human-induced, man-made disaster, uh, the, uh, factory disasters, you have accidents, mine collapse, then train accidents, epidemics and pandemics. India has accounted a lot of uh, lives in the past to say that uh, why India is vulnerable to disaster. Let's let's have a, a quick study on this. So follow me uh, in my discussion. So today's topic is disaster in India case study. And uh, references are here. I have uh, compiled it from different sources, authentic sources, uh, and also edited uh, some of the PowerPoints. Uh, yes, uh, before going, why this India is vulnerable to disaster? We need to know why. Uh, what are the factors? India is a large country, big size means big, uh, many kind of disasters can occur. It has, it has mountains, hills, plains, and deserts and coastlands. So, any natural disasters of all kind can occur in these places. And also, India has huge populations and. Uh, movements of people, uh, factories, and uh, engineering disasters. So many, many have taken place. Let's let's have a quick study on this. Uh, yes, this uh, picture clip shows that how much of Indian land is vulnerable to different kind of disaster. Earthquake, for example, is uh, fifty-eight percent. Then uh, of the total area. Then uh, you have 16 persons of drought, uh, uh, out of 100 persons of agricultural land, 68 persons is under drought. Imagine such a big uh, area of uh, proportions. You have uh, floods every year and 12 persons, all the coastal areas and the river valleys. You have cyclones also, uh, hmm, all the coastal areas are prone to cyclones. Then landslides even in hilly mountains and also avalanche in the, in the highest parts of glaciers region. So let's quickly follow. I have already discussed. Uh, you see that making India one of the most disaster prone countries in the world, affecting overall 80 percent of Indian land and more than 50 million people. Yes, let's. There have been countless disasters, both natural and man made, where millions of lives have been lost before and since independence. So let's have a quick uh, glimpses of the uh, disaster that have occurred in India over the last 40 years. You have this, uh, I'm not going to read all the all of the events. Super cyclone in Odisha 1999, one of the remarkable 10,000 deaths. Then you have earthquake 2001 boots after boots Gujarat and uh, where 13,000, more than 1,000 people's lives have been lost. So tsunami also um, that uh, 2004 where it has struck uh, Indonesia and some parts have been also affected in uh, in eastern parts like in Tamil Nadu coastal areas. Uh, yes, you have flash flash flood in Uttarakhand. You must have heard about this uh, Kedarnath and pilgrimage where uh, where they've been standard and many lives have been lost uh, flash floods due to cloud bursts then uh, yeah, let us see this uh, map give some of the few disasters that have occurred in india important one you know, let's flow this uh, earthquake october 2005 in kashmir area uh, lots of people have died then avalanche uh, also snow being collides and uh, many soldiers also lost their lives here uh, just similar to the uh, landslides, you have a boots earthquake 26 January 2001. You have floods in Mumbai, earthquakes, uh, Latour, one of the most, uh, I mean, deadly that have occurred and caused lots of life in India. Uh, then you have flood in Uttarakhand, then you have earthquake uh, this 1991 Uttarakhasi. Uh, this might be 2000, I mean, after 2000. Uh, flood Assam, Bihar. 
um, most of these uh, floods have occurred uh, in monsoon season. Then you have a uh, Elia cyclone, name of the cyclones that has strived in the eastern coast. Uh, then Fallin cyclone, then Fani cyclones, tsunami area in these parts. Then also Buffal gas tragedy, one of the industrial accidents, human induced disasters to be noted. Uh, many, even even Wall has noticed that such a great tra 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 uh, tragedy after Chernobyl nuclear disaster. So uh, you just see Cyclone Rono in 2016. Uh, we will just quickly follow. So these are the drought prone area, these red marks uh, where rainfall is very less and scanty, uh, causing lots of uh, problem to the farmers. Uh, you see Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Jharkhand. You can have a look. 42% of land area is facing drought. 6 personally dry. So farmers here are really facing problem. So you have this flood uh, hazards map, um, especially these uh, river bank valleys, uh, Ganga rivers, and uh, I mean this this area is uh, Ganga plains and Brahmaputra. Then also this area is prone and this, uh, these are all lowland areas. So Chennai also experiences uh, floods in, during winter seasons, uh, receives rainfall twice in a year, Coromandel Coast. Then Kerala also is facing uh, floods. Last year it was a havoc. Uh, uh, let us see, even Halstone used to accompany uh, rainfall and uh, the damaging lots of roofs of, of property. So droughts and famines in India is also need to be noted under human induced uh, famines uh, in which a third of the population perish Bengal famine. Uh, see these people are being reduced into skeletons and uh, lots of uh, people have died in India. Drought years 1965. You can have a look across. So many droughts and famines in India have occurred. Now this map shows this cyclonic prone, prone area. So cyclone prones are basically occurring in the east, uh, I mean the coastal areas of Indian region. You are, we have Indian region as uh, 7,516 kilometer. Out of this 5,700 kilometer is prone to this. And most of the cyclones have occurred in the Bay of Bengal regions or either in this uh, Indian Ocean. You have Cyclone Rono in May 2016, Cyclone Bulbul, uh, Cyclone Fani, one of the biggest cyclone uh, has been striking in, in the eastern coast in Orissa especially uh, or it is uh, given after a name who of snakes in Bengali since 1999 so these are the seismic activities this clip source I mean nearby Indian subcontinent lots of earthquake I mean seismic activity took place then uh, this is a map which shows classified into various region of uh, earthquake prone zone this this area is uh, uh, red and very high risk zones you no know, whole northeast regions and himalayan regions some parts of gujarat uh, that means it is very high risk anytime a great earthquake can occur it has occurred in the past here uh, some notable earthquake that have occurred in the past is silong earthquake 1897 where some northern edge of megala plateau has been raised then even 1950 uh, is known as Assam Greatest Earthquake with magnitudes of 8.6. Then you know, another important is uh, Boots Earthquake 2001, 7 point magnitude 6.1. Kashmir also is have occurred. <clears throat> More than 58.6 percent of the landmass is prone to earthquake. So in Indian subcontinent also you have so many epicenters. These are the red because that seismic activities, earthquake have occurred over the past. So earthquake in this seas area means tsunami. So uh, there was uh, earthquake in Sumatra regions in Indonesia, then some parts in 2004 also being struck here and tsunami causing lots of life in Indian Eastern coast, especially in Tamil Nadu. So this shows about uh, tsunami. Landslide and avalanche. Landslide and avalanche uh, basically occurs in the hilly and mountainous region. So accompanied uh, when the rainfall is there, then basically uh, landslide causing lots of havoc to the people 
uh, movement, transport, blocking the road. So whole notices and reasons of high landslide region, even even this part, and even in the western guards hilly regions. And uh, another important is avalanche, snow is also sliding. So it's also have been devastating the uh, people. Lots of soldiers also died in sheds and glaciers and uh, under underneath of the, the glaciers. Under down the glaciers, they will be covered with snow and glaciers. So, basically occurring in Kashmir region. Uh, we have to know that human industrial also is part of uh, disaster in India. One of the most important uh, industrial accidents is Bhopal gas tragedy in 1984. You can call it a worst industrial disaster in India. Uh, then we have train accidents which used to occur. Uh, lease of more than 10 uh, train accidents that took place and uh, causing lots of life of people, 500 to 800. Then you have mining disasters also, uh, most important to be noted is Charles Nala mining disaster, uh, killing over 320 in 1975. Then you have uh, this uh, engineering disaster, uh, flyover then buildings collapse, multi-story buildings causing lots of people and <clears throat> even done. So let's have a look across this human induced epidemics and pandemics. Yeah. India also is known to be an uh, epidemic for many, many uh, diseases like uh, cholera. Cholera have started in India. You have uh, you can look across uh, this cholera and uh, spreading all worldwide. Uh, in 2020, coronavirus that have started in Wuhan, China. In two, uh, I mean, 2019, uh, Bombay plague. Uh, all this uh, 94 plague in India. You can have a look across of the all the uh, uh, epidemics that have occurred. I, I will be discussing uh, separately this topic. You have hepatitis, malaria, dengue, TBH, and various flu that also kills many people. So.